Oh, hi everyone. Uh, today's screencast is about naming hydrocarbons. And there are a few uh, rules, the systematic rules that we use to, to name hydrocarbons. So we know we've already talked a little bit in the previous uh, screencast about um, identifying which family member it is, whether it's an alkane, an al or an alkyne, and then um, we talked about well, you know, double bonds could be in different places, uh, they could be different isomers. Well, there's actually a system for describing the names of those isomers, okay? And the steps of this the first thing is, well, firstly, to identify the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms in the molecule, and that gives us its, its basic name. And then we identify any of the side groups that form the branch, um, forms a branch in the chain. Okay, any side groups. And then we, we count that using the numbers um, starting at one end of the longest carbon chain. We count ahead um, so that the side group is attached to the carbon atom with the smallest number possible. Okay, so hopefully we'll do some examples and hopefully you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, so um, just to remind us, these are the prefixes we use. They're all the names. Um, and remember, <laughs> we all talked about... Um, Monkeys eat peeled bananas, they're the first four. Then we've got pent, hex, um, uh, pent, hex, hept, octon, dec. And when we're talking about side chains, we also use the same the same um, naming system. Okay, So it could be a methane molecule, um, but a side group could be just a single carbon, and we call that a methyl group, or an ethyl group, or a propyl group, it has got three carbons. So I'll, I'll explain what that is. And then we say how many of those side groups there are. And we use, if there are two side groups, we use the word di, so it could be dimethyl or diethyl. And if there are three side groups, it could be triethyl or trimethyl. Four side groups potentially, I guess we'd say that might, that would be um, a tetramethyl or tetraethyl, but in reality that doesn't, that doesn't happen. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. So here's a question. Draw and name the isomers of C5H12. Okay, so first off, you work out well, what is it? Is it got any double bonds in there? And you test out you know, the formulas that remember. And if you look at the relationship between the carbon and the hydrogen, it's two times the carbon is ten plus two. That's the formula. That's the maximum number of hydrogens. That's the formula for an alkane. Okay, so we know it hasn't got any double bonds. That first, that's our first bit of of knowledge. Okay, now let's see what we can draw. We'll draw our first. Um, our first uh, version, which is a, s a single long chain, okay, and we're going to count up the number. It's one, two, three, four, five carbons. So what's what's our five carbon thing? You're right. Okay, good. So it's a pentane, and that's it's. A, this is called um, uh, like a semi-structural formula. Okay, it just shows the the various groups. So. Um, there's a CH3 to start, and that's really just showing that group, CH3. And then there's the next carbon, C, with two H's on it. Okay, And we basically go through each carb carbon and say what's attached, CH2, and it's finishing with this CH3 on the end. Okay, so semi-structural formula. Okay, what's another way we could we could draw it? Yeah, you could just pick up one of the, one of the um, groups and just stick it on a different molecule. Here's something else. Okay, well, we've... We've taken uh, probably the last one here, and instead of instead of um, putting it at the end, we've moved it around to the second one along, and there it is. Okay, now what's our rule? We count the longest chain, and now the longest chain is one, two, three, four. It's only four carbons long, so it's no longer. We're not going to call it a pentane, even though I guess it's a general class a pentane if we didn't know the structure, because uh, it's got five carbons. But the longest chain is, is four, so we're going to call that um, a butane. Okay, but then there, hang on, what about this other one that's hanging off? Well, that's a single carbon, and that's got the meth, methyl, methyl group. So um, this, the name for this one would be um, two methyl butane. Okay, so it's a methyl, it's a butane, and um, as we count from the, from one end nearest the chain, nearest the side group, sorry, uh, that's the number two carbon right there. Okay, so the, the methyl is hanging off the number 2. We wouldn't start from the other end counting, because that would say 1, 2, 3, and we want to get the number as low as possible for that um, side group that, that, that it hangs off. Okay, so we, we start numbering from this end. Alright, 
Let's try another example, or the third example. Here's, um, if we picked up back here, if we picked up this, this carbon and we stuck it rather onto this thing, um, what are we going to call this? Well, what's the longest chain? Well, whichever way we count, three is the longest, so it's a propane. So let's just pick, it's going to be exactly the same however we do it. Let's, okay, let's just start from this left hand one. One, two, three, the number two carbon, either way we count, has these side groups hanging off it, and they're both methyl groups, you know, single carbon groups hanging off on each side. So we're going to call this one um, 2 2 dimethyl, so two methyl groups, and a propane, okay, because it's got three carbons in its longest chain. 2 2, so each methyl group is hanging off number 2. And it's also dimethyl, a bit, a bit repetitive, but that's the, that's the principle. You understanding that? Okay, let's try another one. Um, how about, uh, it says, draw and name the isomers of C4H8. This is in our books. Um, now, what's the formula? Carbon, you double it, 8. Oh, that's just, that's just 2 times, so it's not an alkane, it's a bit less. It's an alkene, which is that formula, all right? Um, so that's it's an alkene. And what, what isomers could it have? Well let's think the first one. Here's one that looks like this. It's it's got the um four carbons in a row there, and then it's got a double bond in that first uh between the first if we start numbering, sorry, a one, two, three, four, closest to the where the double bond is, get the numbers again as small as we can. This time I guess um the double and the double bonds take priority over side groups. Um What's that going to be called? What did I say? Four. Four, so it's a butene. Bute, butene and butuanine. Just to say that there's a double bond between um, after the first carbon. Butuanine. Another isomer? Let's have a look at that one. So same, but now the double bond is in the middle. So it's a one, two, it's a but. Let's have a twoene, okay, just telling us where the, so this number is telling us where the double bond is, and then I guess here's a. This is actually a different a different branching version. Still got the same number of carbons and hydrogens and double bonds, but you count. Let's count the longest chain. It doesn't matter which one. It's a three, okay. So it's a it's a it's a propene, ene being the double bond. Um, and we're going to start from the nearest the double bond, one, two, three. So it's a prop one ene. But then we've got um, a methyl group hanging off the middle carbon. That's this longest chain. Okay. So whichever way we count, it's still the second carbon. So what's that name going to be? Yeah. Oh, it hasn't said prop one ene. Oh, I guess maybe. Yeah. Actually, there's probably nowhere for it to be. If it doesn't, you don't have to specify prop one ene because um, it'll always be the one. Okay, so we, we just call it, we just number it two methyl propene. Yeah, make it as simple. If it's if it's um if there's only one option then you don't need to be so specific. Alright, good. Here's a few examples uh, just to see if we can remember. So this is all a family. Here's one. Uh, this one's got two carbons, this one's got three, this one's got four, no double bonds. Okay, so there's that that family. And they're just the um, alkanes, start of the alkane family. How about this one? This is these are um, this is also alkanes because what's the f um, sorry? Here's my pointer. Um, alkanes. Uh, let's just check whether well, they are alkanes. So double a carbon. That's twelve and two more. Okay, so that's an alkane. There's one, two, three, four, five isomers of it. They all have exactly this formula: six carbons, fourteen hydrogens. But they're in a different a different order. So C6 is a simple straight chain. Um, six carbons. Well, we call that as an alkane. Yep, it's a hexane. You're right. And okay, here's another one. But we, now we've got one branch group, a methyl group hanging off. So that's where one of the carbons has gone. So now the longest chain is actually only five. It's a pentane. And the methyl's hanging off the second carbon. Uh, I'm going to release, reveal two at once here. It's going to be a bit silly, but it's a two-methyl pentane. 
Now, you didn't see the other one. I just covered it up again. <laughs> Let's see if we can um, name this one. Okay, there's one, two, three, four in the longest chain. This is the shorter chain, only three. So four means that it has to be um, a butane. And two methyl groups hanging off the um, butane. Uh, it's a 2,2-dimethyl butane. Okay. And here's some more, one, two, three, four, five in the longest. So this is a pentane, and this is one, two, three, four. This is a um, a, 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 a butane as well. Okay, it's the same. So these are both butanes, but the carbon, the methyl groups are hanging off different places. So rather than being two, two dimethyl, okay, all off the second carbon, two, two. This one will be a um, a two and a three. Let's have a look at these. So the name for this one would be 2 and a 3 dimethyl butane. Whereas this one would just be a 3 methyl pentane. Okay, I'm hoping that's uh, making some sense to you. Um, practice makes perfect, of course, with these. So the more you do, the more it, you, know, you start to see that the system actually is pretty, it's pretty good. Um, and here's one just to really uh, wind you up. Okay, this monstrous thing, what's it got? It's got heaps of carbons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's got nine carbons all together. <coughs> um, is that right? Let me just check it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll beg your pardon. It's got ten. Ten carbons. So it's some sort of well, in generally, uh, but it's got a double bond. Yep. So it's 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 a deck, as in ten carbons. Ene. It's it's generally a decene, but specific. So the formula would be a decene. Um, but if you're talking specifically about the structure, you have to think of the longest chain, which includes the um, the double bond. So that's why we're starting with this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the longest one we can get, including the double bond. And we start numbering closest to the double bond. And so it's one. So it's a six. Okay. So it's a hexene. Um, it's a hex uh, one ene. And then what about the extra functional groups? Well, there's actually a two carbon group hanging off this second carbon. So the, the two carbon is called eth, ethyl. So it's a two ethyl. And then off the fourth carbon in our chain, there are two methyl groups. So it's a dimethyl. Wow, what's that going to be called? It's actually a two ethyl, four, four, dimethyl, one hexene or hexuanine. Good fun? Well done.